All right, I just got off the subway. Uh, it took me about 25 minutes to get here from the subway. So there's people out doing their normal stuff now, but there's a lot more children because the schools aren't back in session yet. They're postponing the schools um, spring semester um, depending on the province. So Sichuan province, which is the, Chengdu is the capital of Sichuan province, hasn't said when they're gonna go back to school. So like Pizza Hut's open, KFC's open. There's not many people there now because it's like two in the afternoon. Um, and people walking their dogs and stuff. You know, everyone's wearing masks. So here's a big shopping mall. There's the entrance. You can walk in and then you'll see that there's a girl in yellow right there. So she's gonna wait in line and they take your temperature before you go in. And then they spray your hands with a kind of uh, just a disinfectant. So super clean now. If you have a temperature over so much and it's in Celsius here in China, they use the metric system. So 37.5 or 8, then they, they won't let you in. And you know, they'll just ask you to, are you feeling okay? You know, maybe you should go home in case you have a fever. Because if you do show symptoms, which I guess this virus, you know, you could be asymptomatic. But if you do show symptoms like fever or coughing, anything to do with like your respiratory system or a fever, um, they strongly recommend you just go home and rest. Drink a lot of water, you know, just do the normal stuff. Um, and China's got a lot of old people. Like, there's a huge percentage of people above like 60, 70 years old. Uh, they, they live a long time because they have healthier habits, um, like eating habits and stuff. So that's another reason why they're being way more cautious. But now, it's already been about two months, children have been inside for way too long. So now a lot of them are out, they don't have to go to school until further notice. Uh, yeah, so this is what it kind of looks like here. Chengdu is pretty, pretty modern, like built up, lots of buildings, um, city. Not too many foreigners. I mean, there's obviously a few thousand, but not um, nothing like Beijing, Taipei, uh, Hong Kong, Shanghai. So yeah. In this area, this is a rather wealthier side of town. It's still under construction here with the apartment buildings, but you know, Mercedes, Audis, you know, I've seen Lamborghinis and Porsches here too. So these people got money and everything's pretty nice. So we're coming up. So on the other side of that shopping mall, there's a grocery store, a department store called Ito Yokado from Japan. And they take your temperature. Like you can see that security guard there. Where's my finger? Right there. Take your temperature, spray your hands. And then there's supermarkets and shopping stuff here. So I work now. One of our schools is in there. It's a drama and English school. But uh, we we're not allowed to have the children back on the campus. So I go there and uh, we do classes online and we record um, stories and we send it to them through their apps and WeChat and all that. Um, but it's fun, it's enjoyable. I like tea teaching, so I don't really care. All right, I will cross the street and do another video.